Okay, let's talk about the GACE program admissions assessment. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you're uh, having to take this uh, exam, this particular assessment. And obviously you probably also know that it's required for those of you in Georgia looking to become teachers. So you're either have a degree or going into some sort of teaching uh, program. So uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations on choosing uh, teaching as a uh, career. Uh, I myself am a teacher. I've taught middle school math, high school math, some college, and I've had to go through um, uh, different certification exams along the way. So I have a degree in mathematics and a master's degree, but as you uh, probably already figured out by now, um, as, as you being a teacher, your career is going to be a, a lifelong teaching and learning, okay? And that's a good thing. So, um, but first of all, obviously you're going to have to get through this GACE uh, program and admission assessment and so you can just get into your particular teaching college. So let's go ahead and talk about the math portion of it. That's what I focus on. Uh, before we get going, if you discover that you like my teaching style, I actually offer a very comprehensive uh, GACE program as admissions assessment math prep course. I'm going to leave the description of that in um, a link in the description of this video. You can check that out um, if that interests you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at a particular problem here that, you, that you're going to need to uh, be able to do on the GACE. Now that necessarily this specific problem but the level of math you need to to um, you know be strong at so look you're in college or you have a degree and you're going into it so you know you've already taken algebra one geometry along the way algebra two you like have, have taken college algebra and some of you out there you know taken even more because you, you may be in a field um, where you're going to be maybe uh, teaching um, science or etc so you may have taken calculus ex, you know whatever the case might be you've all taken uh, this math now I will say this and I'm kind of going off on a little bit of a tangent but if you can indulge me for a second that would be uh, I would appreciate that is even though you've done well if that's the case you mean you've done well in math and you're like oh yeah no I'm strong in math and you have this sense that you can just kind of pick up things where you left off in maybe a year, two, three years ago, that's a really um, not a smart approach. <laughs> I'll say it that way. Okay, I myself as a math teacher with a degree in math have to continuously review things, although I know it very, very well. It's always smart to review because you're going to discover that, oh wow, you know, you have to brush up on your skills. Okay, so although you've done well in mathematics, if that's the case, you need to do some serious brushing up on your uh, skills. Now, for those of you who have struggled in math and just don't like it, well, just buckle down, focus on uh, really boosting up your skills with a program, let's say, like mine or, or some other, uh, just so you can get through this particular assessment. All right, so here is a practice problem. And what I'd like you to do is see if you can graph this uh, linear equation, okay? So this is a graph of a line. I don't want to give you too many hints here, but see if you can just take a piece of scratch paper and draw a little XY plot and see if you can uh, graph it. All right, so if you want to pause the video and try that. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just sketch out an XY plot here. All right. Okay, so here is an XY plane. Okay, and the idea is we want to go ahead and graph this line on this plane. Now, there's a couple different ways we can graph lines. Okay, so you can use a table of values, a table, which is not the ideal way, but when you start learning this stuff, this is the way you approach it. Another way you can uh, graph a line is to have it in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. This is by far the most convenient way to graph a line. However, I made your uh, life a little bit more difficult here because this particular equation of a line is not in this form. However, this particular uh, format is actually really good too because this is what we call standard form. St standard form, we write that here. And what this allows us to do when lines are in standard form is we can get the x and y intercepts. So 
the x and y intercepts are where the line crosses on a y and x axis and then we can just draw the line through those points okay wherever they're at so that's what you want to be able to um, do in this particular um, problem the easiest way is to use standard form now you could rewrite this equation into uh, slope intercept form and, and go that route as well or you can create a table however you did it as long as your line um, is what I'm going to do here then you did it right now the, your points might be a little bit different especially if you did slope intercept form but yeah, I think you'll get the gist of what I'm gonna uh, if you got it right or not okay so standard form is very easy so again we want to find the x and y intercept what you want to do is just create a nice little table like this okay there's a couple different ways you can approach this but I, I've been teaching this stuff for many 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 years and I always found this is a nice and easy way to remember how to graph lines in standard form so we have an x and y okay uh, table of values and we're gonna figure out what y is when x is equal to zero and we're gonna figure out what x is when y is equal to zero so we're gonna fill out this table using the equation of the line okay so let's go ahead and see how that's done so let's go 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 12. So what I want to do is figure out what y is equal to, okay, when x is equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to plug in a 0 right here. I'm focusing on this. I'm going to plug in a 0 right here. I'm going to let x is equal to 0. Okay, and then I'm going to solve for y. Okay, so this is 2 times 0 is 0. So that goes away. And I'm left with 3y is equal to negative 12. Now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. And I get y is equal to negative 4. Okay, so this point here, one of the points on this line. Now think about it, how many points do you need to graph a line? You just need two, right? Then I could draw a line through it. So one of the points is the point 0, negative 4. So let's go ahead and plot that right now. Where is, well actually, you should think to yourself before I do it, do you know how to plot a basic point, an ordered pair, okay? So x is zero and y is a negative four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is one point that's on that line. Zero, negative four. And we uh, refer to this particular point as the y-intercept because it's the point where the line's gonna intersect the y-axis. Okay, so that's uh, how we got one point, and we're basically going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to let y be equal to zero, and we're going to solve for x. So this is going to be 2x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 12. So 3 times 0 is 0, right? So that goes away. So we, we have 2x is equal to negative 12. Now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to negative 6. Okay, so this is our second point, negative 6, zero, uh, 0. Negative 6, 0. So x is negative 6, y is 0. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And, okay, so this is our x-intercept, negative 6, 0. And now we can go ahead and graph the line. So I'm just going to just draw a little kind of sketch through there freehand and there you go okay so this line is this equation this linear equation here is the graph to it okay so if you pretty much have you know this line and you're pretty confident even if you did it uh, put it in, into y equals mx plus b form then that's pretty good okay however that's not conclusive for what you're going to need for the gaze program admissions assessment you know, it's, but it's a little sample, it's kind of a little pop quiz here for you. So we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Again, um, you know, you need to study for this assessment. The worst thing you could do, especially if all the work you've already done, you know, to, to date, you know, going to college, working on your degree or having your degree, get into teacher's college, all that stuff, you don't want to have any issues with this particular assessment. So prepare well. If you like my teaching style, you can certainly, um, uh, significantly increase your math skills by checking out uh, my course. So again, the link will be in the description of this video. Super comprehensive. I do uh, a lot. 
If you just want to check out my YouTube channel, I literally got hundreds of videos that can help you out as well. So I'm posting all the time, so hopefully you'll uh, consider being a subscriber. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. How do you um, uh, find, you know, teaching, um, uh, your teaching preparation in Georgia? You know, do you feel like, you know, uh, you know, you chose a good career, or you're excited, or you're struggling in a particular area. So your feedback, you know, lets me know how I'm doing. Also, you know, what you say gives me ideas for future videos. So in any way I can, you know, I will try to help you out because we need great teachers in this country. I'm, I'm certain the state of Georgia, um, you know, is appreciative of you because not many people or not everybody is going to choose teaching as a career. Okay, it's a tough career, but it's extremely rewarding. And I don't want to use maybe that's a too harsh of a word saying tough. It's a challenging career. Okay, and and that's a good that's a good thing though. You want you want to challenge, and you're going to be a lifelong learner. But the rewards are there, so stick with it. I wish you all the best on the Gates Program Assessment um, Test. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.